In this problem, we have an observer. Uh, she is 300 meters from the launch pad of a rocket, and she's watching it ascend vertically at a rate of 60 meters per second. We're asked to find the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer when the rocket's 400 meters high. So our uh, cube approach says let's circle our um, numbers and um, uh, variables if they're here. In this case, we just have numbers, so we've got um, right, that the observer is 300 meters, uh, it's ascending at a rate of 60 meters per second, and um, it is uh, 400 meters high. Uh, so we want to, here's the question, uh, we want to find the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer when the rocket is 400 meters high. So here's our question. And then uh, boxing any uh, math expressions. Um, so we've got from the launch pad. So from the launch pad is a distance. So that really is incorporating a mathematical idea. Um, it's going to be, in our case, probably a variable. She watches it ascend vertically at a rate. Uh, so this is um, a calculus expression. Uh, rate is a derivative, and ascending means that it's a positive derivative. And we want to find the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer. So that's a rate of change, another derivative. And um, extraneous, uh, I mean, guess we could say we don't care that she's watching it. Um, everything else seems fairly uh, important. Okay, so let's organize our thoughts um, about this problem. So first off, we have that um, uh, we have an observer. Right? So let's give ourselves an observer. Um, uh, my great stick figure. Um, she's observing uh, um, a rocket ascend from a launch pad. So I'll draw my launch pad and let's draw some rocket and it's ascending vertically. Um, we know that the distance between the observer and the launch pad is not changing. It's 300 meters. We know the rocket is ascending uh, so this is its ascension going up and down is some variable, so I'll call it y. And we want to know the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer. So we can look at that as a straight line uh, from the observer to the rocket. And I'm measuring in this case uh, from the, uh, the foot of the observer, and we'll call that x. So we've got a nice diagram, at least relating x and y, the rocket, the observer. Um, uh, we've, you, we've, we've expressed this from the launch pad is 300 meters uh, ascending vertically. Okay, that's a rate of change. So we need to write that here. Um, well, first, let's remind ourselves or make sure it's clear. Let's write it down. Y is um, height of rocket. And... Um, x is the distance, so x is distance from observer to rocket. And so we've got it here. We know exactly what our variables are. Um, and so the ascension of the rocket, that's uh, going to be dy dt. We know it's time because it's 60 meters per second. So 60 meters per second. And we're asked, so the last boxed expression is, what is the rate of change of the distance? And we've described that as x. So what is dx dt um, equal to when, uh, um, when the distance between the rocket and the observer is 400 meters. So the distance 
from the rocket uh, um, and the observer. So when is this? So when is x equal to um, 400? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's read this question a little bit. And this is what happens when I'm trying to write and talk and read all at the same time. Sorry, I'm not the best juggler. So yes, I want to know the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer. So that's the rate of change of x. When, when the rocket is 400 meters. Um, so I wrote when x is equal to 400, but that is not what's being asked. It is when the rocket is 500 meters high. Well, that's why. So I apologize, but this is really good um, that we should always be double checking that what we're writing is, is makes total sense. So we will know dx dt when y is equal to 400. So let me box that because this is the question we want to ask. This will um, help us make decisions when we're solving the problem. So great, we've organized um, all of the facts from the problem into variables and different um, relationships. Um, however, we don't have a relationship yet between x and y, but the picture should be incredibly suggestive that again, we have a right triangle. So we know that x squared, or sorry, y squared plus 300 squared is equal to x squared. Right? The sum of the squares of the height and the base is equal to the hypotenuse squared. That's Pythagorean's theorem. So we've related um, our um, variables, and now we need to determine um, uh, an approach, and this is a, a related rates problem, so our approach will be to use implicit differentiation to solve. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this expression here, that y squared plus 300 squared is equal to x squared, and use implicit differentiation to find out a, a, a formula for dx dt. So Taking the differential of both sides, I take the differential of y squared plus 300 squared. And it is equal to the differential of x squared. Applying our differential rules, this distributes across addition. And I know that the differential, uh, so 2y dy, Right? That's the differential of y squared plus, well, the differential of 300 is 0, so there is no plus anything, and it's equal to the differential of x squared, which is 2x dx. Great. We have uh, done our uh, implicit differentiation, um, but I don't want to solve for dy dy dx. Why? Because back here, what do we want to solve for is dy dt. So I divide both sides by dt. So I divide this expression by dt. And I divide this expression by dt. And I get that um, uh, 2y dy dt is equal to 2x dx dt and I know something about dy dt. I know that dy dt is equal to 60 meters per second. So I can replace that there. And so this whole expression becomes that um, 60 times 2 is 120. So 120 y is equal to 2x dx dt or 
or that uh, dx dt is equal to 60y divided by x. So now we have a, a, a formula for dx dt, and I want to know what is dx dt when y equals 400. And just like the last problem, my dx dt is in form of two variables, y and x. So I have a side problem. I need to know what is y equal to. So I'll look at this side problem. I want to know what is, or sorry, what is x equal to when y is equal to 400. And we can come back. We have our relationship to y and x. y squared plus 300 squared equals x squared. So this tells me that 400 squared plus 300 squared is x squared. So x squared, or x, is equal to plus or minus square root of 400 squared plus 300 squared which is equal to plus or minus 500. And we get two answers for x, but again, um, in this problem, the x value cannot be negative because um, we're talking about distance. So I'm only going to be concerned about the positive value. So x equals 400. And finally, solving the problem. Uh, so uh, okay, I'm going to box this off so we're clear that it's different from everyone else. So the problem is, what is dx dt equal to, at the point um, x is 500, y is 400, and this is equal to 60 times our y value, which is 400. divided by our x value, which is 500. And this is equal to 48. And what are our units? Well, um, again, our only unit came from dy dt, which was meters per second. So that carries over. This will be meters per second. So if I were to write out the solution for this, and, and you should write this out, the answer would be that um, the rate of change of the distance between the rocket and the observer when the rocket is 400 meters high is 400 meters per second. 